Hello friends, welcome to UA Infotech channel. For more updates, please subscribe my channel. In this video session, we will learn how to create a social media banner using Adobe Photoshop. So without wasting time, let's get started. So let me open the Photoshop. So here, I'm creating a new file. So for the social media banner, so we take the size. So click on this control N, create new file. So we have a small popover window will appear here and we can provide the resolution as a hundred or else we can provide 200 also and set the bit 1080, height 1080 and take the resolution 200. So this is not mandatory to take the resolution as you wish, you can take 100. 150. You can take uh, 160, 140 like this. So choose the color mode RGB and click on this. Okay. Now, so we created the layer here. After creating the layer, first step we need to do, we need to unlock this layer. I will click on this one, layer get unlocked. So after unlocking the layer, so here I'm creating one group there. So click on this down button in the layers. So we have group icon is here. If you click on this one, it will create a group there. So I created the group one. And now I'm selecting this rectangle tool. And I just draw the one rectangle here. Now I draw the shape, now select the move tool, I can move this one, now use this control transform, I just rotate this shape, like this, you can adjust one, you can adjust this one, like. and I'll just increase the size, so select the left side, you can increase the size of the shape there. Now, I can adjust this one. I can get like this. Now look at this one. So I created the shape. So after that, just click on this control enter to release the transform. Now look at this one. So I created now shape there. Now we can select the shape. So we can adjust this one using this arrows. If you want, you can adjust this one. Now uh, this is the last one. I'll just rotate a little bit. So I'll just rotate uh, like this. I shall go down and click on this enter to release this last form. I created the shape there, the group one. Now here, so we created the background. I'll place one more shape, place uh, something, images. So this time I'm taking this uh, ellipse tool, select the group, pull the shift button. Draw the circle there. And use this move tool. We can move this one towards the left side. Now you can double click on this one, it will be selected. Make it in white color, click on this one. Now here, for this uh, circular shape, so we need to apply some uh, stroke effect. We looked effects, and here you can apply the stroke option. Now increase the stroke, increase the stroke to 29 or 30. Now this time I'll make it to inside, inside, and I'll change the color to green color. Click on this OK, and click on this OK. Now for this circle, I'll just apply some drop shadow. So select this drop shadow, go to this effect, select the drop shadow, and remove this use global light, and I just increase the distance. 
Now, you can change the angle. So here I'm taking this 90 degrees and you can increase the size here. Increase the size and reduce this distance a little bit. Now it's look good, click on this one. Similarly, I'm selecting this one, go to this effects and click on this inner and select inner shadow. Select inner shadow for this inner shadow. Remove this is open like. You can make this increase the distance, increase the size. And click on this one. Now you created the shape. So so here, so we need to place uh, image there. So for this image, so I have already downloaded some images. So I'm just drag this image and you can paste it in the Photoshop. Now we can reduce, we can rotate this one. We can reduce the size. Use this control transform and use shift and alt button. Reduce the size, click on this end. Now we can adjust this one. What's here? Now it's look good. Now here, we place the image. So we can drag another image and we can place inside of the circuit. So you can drag this one in the Photoshop. You can paste it there. Now use this uh, shift and alt button. Reduce the size, click on this enter. So we can adjust this one. I use this control transform, so we just reduce the size a little bit. Use the shift and alt button. Click on this center. Now, we place the image there. Now, uh, this will be completed. Now, you can close this one and you can change the color for this one. You can right click and give the blue color there. And I can take one more uh, group. So for this group, I'll create a uh, shape there. So use this rectangle. So use this rounded rectangle. I use rounded button. Then you can build, you can you can move downwards. You can move the downwards here. So. So we can reduce this, we can change the color for this one. So you can click on this one. So here we can make the color and click on this one. Now, so I created one shape there. So similarly, I'll make uh, one more here, like one more rectangle, one more rounded rectangle. So I'll make one more rectangle. So this time I'll change the color to yellow color and click on this one. Now here, I'll, I'll make a one more group here. So click on this control G. Now I can select this uh, type, horizontal type tool, this type here, and order. Now. Now for this one, I'll change the text here. I'm selecting this open sans serif. And go to this toggle. So make this two capital letters. Or it is a font size. It is a font size. And click on this OK. Now you can select this one. Make it to white. And Make it a black color. So click on this bucket. All of that. Now here, I'm selecting. I'll remove these capital letters. I'll make uh, only N as a capital. And here also, we take O as a capital. 
Aginda. And here, we we'll place the order button. Next, shall this text? Shall the next? Just right. You can write here. Save. So double click on this one. It will be selected. Make it to make it to yellow color. Click on this okay. So blue that. Right. Fifty percent. Now double click on this text layer. It will be selected. Go to this two color. Just reduce this line height. Increase the size. Increase the size there. Now click on this. Now again double click on this one. It will be selected. Make it to semi bold. Now double click on this. It will be selected. I'm just select this. Select them. Text. Make it big bold. Increase the size. Increase the size. Now go to this tool and just increase this line height. And click on this tool. Now we'll make the text. Now select this move tool. You can adjust this one. So it will be percent. Now here. So. We'll create another shape right. We need to write some text here. So select this text. Just write. Would be. And use this move tool. You can adjust this one. Double click on this one. It will be selected. Just, just go to this font size. You can reduce this here. Use this move tool. And double click on this one, it will be selected. Go to this toggle. Now I'll just reduce this uh, letter spacing. So I'll make it to zero. Now we can change the color to white. Now click on this one. Click on this here, it will be removed. And uh, select this would mean we can adjust this one. Now if you look at this, would mean there. And I need, to, I need to write some text to you. So like this text too. Just write this. We get only. Now I can select this text. Make it to black. Select this one. Double click on this one. Go to this here. Make it to regular and reduce the size. Reduce the size here. Use this move tool. You can paste it. You can paste it here. And now, so here I need to add some shapes here. So I'll create one more group. And for this group, I'll use this ellipse tool. Use the shift button. Rather circle. Now use this control transform. Right click and use the wrap here. Now I can wrap this one. You can wrap. You can wrap this one and I click on this thing. Now look at this. So we created one shape there. Now use this control transform. I'll rotate this one. I'll paste it here. So I'll make a copy I'll make a copy Now I can reduce the size Click on this center I can paste it. Similarly, we'll do the same thing for other side Use the alt button And right click. So use control transform and right click, flip hardjet. 
and click on this one. Now, we will rotate this one. Use this one. We can rotate here. Click on this center. We can adjust this one. Now, we create a shape here. The same shape, so I'll make a copy here. I'll make a copy. I'll reduce the size. Click on the center. We'll make the same copy. Result to make the copy and flip bar jump and click on this end. So we can write or we can adjust this one towards the right position. Now here, so we can write some text here. Select this text, just type special. Now use this one. So I'll change this to I'll change the font family. I'll use so here I'm use this font family. So here I'll just increase the size. I'll use this move tool. We can adjust this one. So we'll place us here. Now we completed this uh, group two. So right click and make it to right. And create one more group. And in this group, I'll just write the logo there. So we'll go to this custom shape tool, select the shape. So here you can uh, you can select any of the shape you want. So as I'm selecting this one, so you can select anything you want. So here you can write, you can place the logo there. So just use the shift button. And use this move tool. You can adjust this. Now you can write here some text. So select this text, you can write. logo here. So select this one, we make it to open sans serif and this time I'll make it to semi bold and I just select this capital letters that is a font size that is a font size change the color here make it to black click on this one here so use this move tool we can adjust this one So here you can reduce this little bit size. Right. And logo shape also, we can reduce this one. Right. Now place here. So, so you can use this group tool and you can select this. Now we can uh, complete this group file. So select and make it to yellow color. Now, so here we need to add some address here. So for Again, I'm creating this one more group. So I'll drag one image here. So go to this source folder, select this. So I can drag these two images. You can paste it in the Photoshop. Click on this enter, paste the images here. And you can select this two. Use this Ctrl T and transform. Use the shift and alt button, reduce the size. 
click on this enter now i'll drag it to this group 6 now select this computer mouse you can drag here and paste it there now so for this one this is a smart object we need to right click this one right click next slice go to this fx click on this color overlay and i need to change the color for this mouse there so you can click on this red color make it to white color click on this okay click on this okay here and uh, you can rewrite this text here so let this text to just write so double click on this text there text will be selected make it to white color click on this okay now you can select this text and just write your web name your web name dot com now select this text now go to this toggle remove this capital letters now remove this get back to regular remove the bold this is more tall can I just this one you now now similarly so I'll do the same thing so use this uh, all this form uh, they can drag here this time I'll just use the rollers to enable the rollers use the control R so I just drag the ruler there I can adjust this form a little bit. Now here, I'll choose this uh, elliptical tool. Hold the shift button. Draw the circle shape. Change the color here. Click on this OK. Now you can drag this one. You can drag the form to the top layer. Now select this shape. Use the move tool. You can adjust this one. Now, so use this uh, computer mouse to so increase again the force of top. And uh, so you can reduce the size, use this control transform. Select this cube, use the control transform. Reduce the size. Now, so we can reduce this shape 7 also. Circular shape. Use the shift and R. Select any edge. Reduce the size. Click on this here. Now we can write here. We can write some number there. So same. Select this horizontal title. Just write. Some number, let's just move it. You press it there. Now here, for this number, like the bold. Uh, we can make it to semi bold. Now I just add this roller. So I will hide this ruler. Use Control H to hide the ruler. Now you can write some text here. Select this text. You can write. Free home delivery. Select this one. So select this text. And go to this color picker. So make it to make it to yellow color. You can't this one. Now here, select 
So here you can remove this home or choose this play home delivery. Now I can adjust this one. This is a more tool. So you can adjust this one here. Now we completed this one. We completed the banner. Now you can right click and make it to orange. Now look at this one. So like this, uh, we can create social media banner using Photoshop. So here I'm just add some shapes there, some uh, some more shapes. So here we can uh, select this rectangle. Just add some designs. Now select this move tool. We can move here. Now I'll make a copy. So I'll group there. So I'll make a copy there. So similarly, we we'll make one more copy, one more copy. So similarly, we'll just make one more copy, one more copy here, and uh, so one more copy. Right now, you can move this group seven. Watch here. And similarly, I'll make uh, the same same copy and use this control transform. We can rotate this one. We can adjust this one here. We can adjust this one here. Right. So like this, we can create a social media banner. Now we can uh, save this one. Control shift S and here. The type social banner, social banner, and save the file with ESD. Uh, you can save the file JPG or the JPG image. You can save this one and click on this. Okay, uh, you can save this one. So, like this, we can create social.